NS Linguistic Tagger provides advanced natural language processing functionality, including string tokenization, part of speech tagging, language and script identification, and named entity recognition. So let's see how this works by analyzing a simple question. What is the capital of New York? The first thing we do is specify what tokens we are interested in and how we want to treat those tokens using NS Linguistic Tagger options. For now, we're not interested in white space and punctuation tokens because we should be able to extract the information needed to answer the question without them. So we can specify omit white space and omit punctuation to do that. The third option, join names, tells NS Linguistic Tagger that when we use named entity recognition, we want to return matching entities as one token. In the question we're analyzing here, this will ensure that New York is treated as one token instead of two. Next, we specify the schemes that we're interested in having available to us when using NS Linguistic Tagger. Since we know that we're analyzing an English string, we can use the available tag schemes for language function on NS Linguistic Tagger and pass in the language code for English, EN. So what are the available schemes and what do they do? First is token type, which tells us whether the token is a word, punctuation, white space, or other. Next is lexical class, which will give us the part of speech for words and the type for punctuation and white space. Then we have name type, which gives us named entity recognition for personal, place, and organization names. The next option combines name type and lexical class, since often we'll want to do part of speech tagging and named entity recognition at the same time. Then we have lemma, which converts word tokens into their canonical form, often referred to as the dictionary form because it's the version of a word you might look up in a dictionary. For example, the lemma for the words run, running, runs, and ran is run. And finally, there are the language and script options, which return the language code and the standard script abbreviation for a given token. Okay, back to the code. Now that we have the options and schemes specified, we're ready to create the linguistic tagger object and give it the string we want to analyze. Then we use the enumerate tags and range function to analyze the string. Here we're interested in the parts of speech and named entities because that will give us the information we need to answer the question. The block gives us the tag for the token and the token range, which we use to create a substring with the token. We print the result for each token and get this output. You can see here that NS Linguistic Tagger has given us the correct parts of speech for each word token, has recognized New York as a place name, and returned it as a single token. Let's see another example. This time we have a string with the word for hello in different languages, and we want to identify the script for each word. This time we're not interested in named entity recognition, so we can leave out the join names option. And since we know which scheme we want, and we know the string is in different languages, we'll specify the array of schemes directly. The rest is the same except for the scheme option in the enumerate tags and range function. And when we print the results, we get the expected four letter codes for each script. So that's a brief overview of how to use NS Linguistic Tagger to analyze text.